Hello and welcome to my channel Flex Master. Today we are going to study the plastic films and packaging, the chapter number six, which is covering the. So we come to the first uh, slide here, uh, which is a snack food packaging. Potato chips are often packed. Package in a structure that contain metallized films, polymer films, metallization provides an oxygen barrier, moisture barrier, and light barrier. The light barrier is to protect the potato chips from ultraviolet radiation that initialize an oxidation mechanism. Seal strength must be optimized to provide a secure package that can be easily opened by the consumer seal integrity and consumer appeal are also uh, critical salty snack packaging salty snacks are frequently high in fat content and may require a package that provides an oxygen barrier in order to prevent the fat in the food from going rancid they may also require grease resistance to keep the package from leaving an oily spot. Salty snacks may be packaged in barrier films containing foil, which means a metallized polymer film or a barrier polymer such as EVOH or PVDC and are gas flushed with nitrogen to maintain a low oxygen concentration inside the package. Battery packaging. <coughs> Moisture barrier is normally the critical property in battery application. Polymers used for moisture barrier include LDP, LLDP, HDP or PP. Typically, EVA polymers are used for sealability and optics. Applications such as cake mix pouch, which require aroma, taste and moisture barrier properties. Polyamide is used for taste and aroma barrier. In bread bags, the LLDP polymer toughness allows down gauging, while LDP allows good optics and printability. Cheese packaging. Most cheese sold in Europe are in pre-pack aged in flexible packaging. The cheese packaging includes individually wrapped slices of processed cheese, chunk cheese, shredded cheese. Here you see in the figure in the right, both chunk cheese and shredded cheese require substantially oxygen barrier to prevent mold growth and spoilage. EVOH, PVDC or PVOH, polyvinyl or alcohol may provide the oxygen barrier, while EVOH is generally co, co extruded into the film stru structure, PVDC or PVOH may be coated on a film via a coating process. Cheese packaging also requires excellent seal integrity and abuse resistance to prevent the controlled atmosphere inside the package from being lost. Cheese packages are often lamin laminations made with reverse printed outer webs containing PET or PA for superior graphical presentation. Milk pouches. Normally, milk pouches are made with LDP or LLDP blends, provide the sealant in both milk powder and liquid pouches if oxygen barrier is required for long shelf life. Polyamide could be used. Frozen food. <clears throat> Frozen foods are packaged in a variety of packaging types. Examples of frozen foods package is flexible packaging include frozen fruits, vegetables, french fries, including quick frozen chicken breast. Many frozen foods are packaged in surface printed PE films. Some higher value added items are packaged in laminations, which may be shaved into stand-up pouches. See in the right illustrated figure. Most frozen foods are uh, bags are made on standard vertical form fill seal machinery. Key requirements for frozen food packaging are low temperature toughness, modulus, high hot tag strength, high seal strength. Some packages are clear and require good clarity, while others are pigmented and require good gloss. 
LLDP, ULDP, EVA, and POP resins are all commonly used in creating frozen food. Stand up pouches and self venting microwave technologies are also used for frozen foods packaging these days. Edible oil packaging. The packaging of cooking oil uses polyamide to provide oxygen barrier properties. Ethylene acrylic acid is typically used as the sealant layer. Bag in box. Post product films containing oxygen barrier polymers are replacing some metallizing laminates where flex crack resistance is required. LLDP or EVA polymers are used as a sealant. A stretch wrap. A stretch wrap or a stretch cling film is used to unitize goods for transportation. A thin film is stretched either by machine or by hand and wrapped around packages to hold the goods together. The film clings to itself and to the pallet, securing the load in its com most common form. A stretch, stretch or cling film is applied to a stacked pallet using a power pre-stretch pallet wrapper in an automated operations. In other operations, the film is stretched between 100% and 300% by rollers turning at different speed and it then applied to to a loaded pallet that sits atop a moving turntable. Machine wrap film is typically supplied on rolls that are 51 or 76 centimeter wide. Hand wrap film is supplied on a smaller rolls. Stretch or cling films may be manufactured by either a cast film or blow film process. Most stretch and cling films are co extruded structure containing three to seven layers. Most cast films, uh, film lines are now being installed with five layer capability and blown film extruded films are typically three layers. LLDP is a primary component of most stretch film for spe specialized publication co extrusions containing minor PP, EVA, POP, M, LLDP, EPE or ULDP layers may be employed for most stretch film structure. A resin with good inherent cling is used on either one or both surface layers. A tachyfier such as polyisobutylene can also be added on the structure to provide the desired cling force. A stretch film is used to utilize entire or partially pallet stack with products such as resin bags, fertilizer bags, consumer goods and food products during distribution. Most stretch films is removed by the retailer prior to displaying the packaged item for sale. A stretch films must have the following good cling, stretchability, load retention, puncture resistance. Now come to heavy duty bags, which is shipping bags. Heavy duty shipping sacks are used to transport items such as the following raisin to, to pack, salt, pet food, fertilizers, chemicals top soils, compressed bales of fiberglass insulation. Heavy duty shipping sacks may be supplied as preformed bags or a rolly stock, which is formed into bags in a continuous vertical form fill seals uh, operation. A special machinery is required to form heavy duty shipping sacks as on vertical form fill seal. Machinery is in high speed continuous operation. These bags need moderate coefficient coefficient of friction because they must easily pass through the packaging equipment but stacked bags must not slide off each other. Trash bags. LLDP introduction is accelerated using co extrusion in trash or refuse bags. Down gauging and using recycled material allows for improved economics and addresses environmental concern. High uh, molecular weight HDP polymers are also finding increased use usage due to further down gauging opportunities this is the largest co extruded film market segment grocery bag sacks which is merchandise bags high molecular weight hdp co extruded with lldp provides improved sealability with good down gauging potential this film is typically made on high stalk hdp blown film or Co extrusion lines. Now, high clarity shrink film oriented. Oriented 
high clarity shin film is used to protect and display high value consumer goods it is distinguished from regular shin film by its superior clarity and appearance as well as increasing shrinkage properties and higher stiffness goods are packaged by wrapping the film loosely around the goods sealing the film to make a completely enclosed bag and the shrinking the film in a shrinking shrink tunnel or oven small holes may be poked into the film before wrapping to allow air to escape while the film is shrinking as in industrial shrink film heat causes the polymer molecules to relax causing the film to return to its original oriented unoriented size and shrink tightly around the packaged goods since the polymer molecules in oriented shrink film are much more highly oriented greater shrink edge may be obtained boxed software and stationary products are often wrapped with high clarity shrink film ice creams cartoons and other food products are also wrapped in high clarity shrink film optical properties seal properties shrinkage and holding force are key requirements for oriented shrink films these structures are normally biaxially oriented films or LDPE and PP now we will talk about summary of all this the subjects you have studied in three different chapters it is critical for a flexible packaging film producer to understand their market even within a great market segment there are usually several film structures that are used the film producer must evaluate the alternative film structure to determine the best fit for the market identified for their production capabilities market trends should be analyzed to determine strategy the market studies will dictate which coextrusion lamination equipment design will be optimum economic evaluation of each market should include the cost incurred in scrap recycle or disposal the average production run size and the polymer changes will determine the of a specific film produce a new consideration for today's marketplace may also include some thoughts into after use disposal of multi layer films the design that the testing of multi layer film particularly in the barrier films will require more manpower and overhead cost that typically the typical mono layer film the market identifies for multi layer flexible packaging should value higher performance properties and high value films in addition to performance properties some markets may have other barriers to entry such as qualification cost experience in the market or lack of business relationship these considerations must be evaluated on the other hand the multi layer coextrusion line design requires knowledge of specific structures and polymer to be produced it is recommended that mutual discussion in with the equipment supplier and polymer suppliers may be made to ensure the proper consideration is given to all critical aspects new application continued to be developed for multi layer films and film structures continue to evolve as new market drivers come into play the structures highlight in this chapter are intended only as examples and may not represent where packaging is headed in the future therefore thank you very much i believe that we have completed uh, our chapter uh, for plastic films and packaging please comment and subscribe my channel thank you very much and see you again goodbye thank you